Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sure, hope you had a great day. What a beautiful day it turned out to be. Yes, it was a little bit hotter. Yes, it was a toasty, roasty kind of a day, but still technically summer, right? Good pool day, good lake day. Now, as we get back to work here this week, Ridge of High Pressure is going to continue to build its way on in, and that Ridge of High Pressure is going to bring us a little bit more heat, and so temperatures will gradually warm this week. Dew points come up eventually by the end of the week, and that's going to allow for some late summer heat. That's the story as we head through the rest of the evening hours. It's a nice evening for sure around town, uh, but toasty. 6 o'clock, we're at 89, 84 degrees by 8, and by 10 o'clock, we're down to 76. So again, dry air heats up and cools down faster than moist air. So the drier the air is, A, our low temperatures can come down a little bit. So it's going to be a comfortable start. A little bit warmer on Monday morning than what we've been dealing with here, dealing than what we've been experiencing with over the last couple of days. Through our Monday, though, we're going to be uh, seeing those temperatures in the mid-80s as we get into the lunch hour. Temperatures come up throughout the day on Monday. We'll be back in the low to mid-90s, maybe close to uh, the upper 90s in Chattanooga. So it's going to be a, a very hot Monday. But we don't have a ton of humidity, and so we're not talking about heat index values soaring off the charts. And so the air temperature will pretty much be our heat index value. And so as we get into the evening hour, 6 o'clock, 90, but feels like 90. 83, nah, okay, maybe like 85 by 8. And then 78 degrees by 10 o'clock Monday night. So a nice weather pattern. Sure, it's warm. Sure, it's going to be hot, but at least it's not too muggy. Now, when you look at our trend for temperature, temperatures, I should say, we're going to be trending upward, mid to upper 90s, middle part of the week. Remember I showed you that ridge of high pressure starts to build its way on in. Dew points gradually climb as well. These numbers right here are not great numbers to see, when temperatures are expected to be in the 90s because that's going to push our heat index values close to 100 degrees. So it is going to be another hot and then dry week because we're not looking at a ton of rain, but the rain does increase as we get into the latter part of the week. First part of the week, we're going to stay dry. So all the way through Tuesday, we're dry. All the way through Thursday, mostly dry. Maybe a couple of spotty showers and thunderstorms across the mountains of East Tennessee, North Carolina. And then as we get into our Thursday, Friday, Saturday time frame, a little bit of rain, but look at, I mean, we're talking about a quarter to a tenth of an inch of rain, so not a lot. And we need moisture because as we head into the uh, September and October months, these are our driest months of the year. Now, Climate Prediction Center saying maybe we're going to be trending a little bit above average when it comes to rainfall for the first week of September and uh, about the first week, week and a half anyways, we may be trending above average when it comes to rainfall, when it comes to precipitation, or excuse me, when it comes to temperatures, we're talking about above average to start the month, but maybe trending below average. So maybe a little bit of a cool down is on the way. So we'll see how this all plays out. Check it every day with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download. Just go to your app store and search East Tennessee Weather, all one word. It's everything you need to know for weather. Right here in East Tennessee, simple, quick, easy, efficient. That's what we need in our lifestyles, right? Efficient, quick, and easy. All right, not easy, not quick, not efficient, but a good cause. I'm raising money for the American Cancer Society. Breast cancer awareness, fundraising, money stays here in East Tennessee, and I think I can help, and I think I can make a difference. So I'm asking for your help to donate anything that you possibly can. I have a link at the top of my app and the top of my website, easttnweather.com, so check those out. And if you have it in you to donate just a couple of bucks here or there, if everybody cope, uh, donated a couple of bucks, we raise a lot of money in a really short amount of time. So if you can, I really would appreciate it. All right, your next weather update's coming up at 9 o'clock. We sure hope you have a great Sunday night. Don't forget, Wake Up With Witcher starts at 7 o'clock in the morning, bright and early as we get started on our Monday. I hope you check in every once in a while. See you then.